Put your hands together for Jesus. Is that all you can do? And go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. You may not have sweet voice to sing. You may not know how to sing in part. You don't know what soprano is. You don't know what alto is. You don't know what tenor is. And so, when it comes to music, you don't even know how to sing to key. It's possible for you to sing off key. Worst of, you can even sing off beat. Praise God. And God being a very, very merciful and compassionate God, who want to reward everyone according to their praises, he now went further and now said, don't only listen to me. Make a joyful noise. You don't need key to make a joyful noise, isn't it? You don't need the drum to make a joyful noise. Let somebody make a joyful noise. To receive glory, honor, and power, and power for thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure. They are and well created. You are the reason why we are God alone. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Oh, you are the reason why we are here again. Almighty God, you, you are, are the most high God. Jehovah, you, you are the most high. You are the most high. You are the most high. Everlasting Father, you are the most high. King of glory. You are the most high God. Mighty and everlasting Father, you are the most high God. We reference you. We honor you. We magnify you. We exalt your holy name. Daddy, I said I worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you did last week. Thank you for what you did throughout the week. Thank you for what you said to do today. Thank you for what you did in the first service. Thank you for what you did in the workers' meeting. Thank you, O God, for this second service. Thank you for what you will still do in the third service. Daddy, I set our tongues in Jesus' name. Daddy, every prayer your children will pray here today, Daddy, answer them, O God. Our gracious and everlasting Father, we ask him, let no one return, O God, from here the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I tell someone to say a better Amen. Let your amen be louder than your neighbor. Amen. Lift up your two hands and fire two prayer arrow very quickly. And your first prayer arrow is going to be, Father, Father. you can do better. Say, Father, Father. do not allow me to be disgraced. And do not allow me to be put to shame before my head call. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God that you not be put to shame, you not be disgraced before your help come. Your help will come so that you are not put to shame, so that you are not disgraced. Masuka la brandy. Lord, do not allow me to be put to shame before my help come. Kalima kaswanta le brokoto gazanda. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Lastly, lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father. You can do better. Say, Father, Father. command my helpers wherever they are, wherever they may be, let them locate me. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? That the Almighty God will command your helpers wherever they may be, wherever they are, let them locate you. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God will not allow you to be disgraced before your help comes.
if my father can hear your ladder, amen, that will be timely help for you. And wherever your helper and your benefactors are, God will command them to locate you. And your prayer will not go unanswered. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I thought your email will be like that three powerful times. One to go. Two. And put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. And let's please be seated. Our time is fast spent. The first service went into our second service. But God will help us in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for our lives. Today is the grand finale of the Help Weekend. Hallelujah. And Help Weekend is comprising of the choir, the prayer champion, the ushering, and the welfare department. And the theme for this year's Welfare Weekend is Grace to Touch Lives. Grace to do all? Grace to touch lives. And I know God will touch somebody's life. Meanwhile, by the special grace of God, tomorrow anointing service is a very special one. And the theme is the mantle of what? Goodness and mercy. So we encourage every one of us that will be coming tomorrow morning. The hour is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. If you are coming tomorrow morning, in addition to you coming to your anointing oil, please come with a white handkerchief. Tell those that are not here. Let them come with it, and God will do what he wants to do. And by the special grace of God, next Sunday will be our miracle service. Put your hand together for Jesus. And we are believing God for a visitation. And the Almighty God will bless us in Jesus' name. Grace to touch lives, dynamics, and power. Join me and open your Bible with me into the book of Acts chapter 9. And then we we'll read from verse 36 to 42. Now there was a Joppa, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Docas. This woman was full of good works and arms deeds, whom when they had washed, they lay her in an upper chamber. And for as much as leader was near to Joppa, and the disciple had, or the disciple had heard that Peter was there. They sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Verse 39. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber. And all the widows stood by him weeping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and knelt down and prayed and turning him to the body said, Tabitha, arise. Somebody will arise today. You arise into glory, into power, into breakthrough, into blessing, into favor, into hair, in the name of Jesus. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand, and lifted her up. And when he had called the saint and widows, presented her alive. You will not die before your time. Sudden death will not be your portion. And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believe in the Lord. Beloved, we've dealt with grace here so many times, and so I'm not talking much about grace, but I know that we all know that grace is an unmerited favor. Grace is the gifts of God. Grace is God in your race. Grace is what? God in your race. And I'm praying for you, God will always be in your race. Yeah. Then what does it mean to touch lives? Because the topic is grace to touch life, Dynamics and power. What does it mean to touch lives? To touch lives is to impact lives. 
To touch lives is to be a blessing. To touch life is to be full of good work towards mankind. To touch life is to show kindness. To touch lives is to demonstrate the love of God. And to touch life is to do charity. Praise the Lord. Who can touch lives? The one that can touch life is the one that have acquired essentially grace for that purpose. Praise the Lord. What are we saying in essence? Touching lies is not necessarily because you are rich. Touching lies is not necessarily because you are endowed. Touching lies is not just because you are learned. Touching life require you carrying grace. In other words, there is a grace to do good. There is a grace to touch life. There is a grace to be full of good works. There is a grace to do charity. Can I pray for somebody here this morning? In that name that is above every other name. God will release such grace upon you. That's why in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. In other words, God is the one that makes grace available. And God has released sufficient grace for every child of God to be full of good works. Praise the Lord. It is possible for you to say, I cannot do it. It's possible to say, I don't have the means to do it. It's possible to say, I don't, I don't have the strength. But the Bible says, according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, he said, I can do all things to Christ which strengthens me. In other words, it is possible for you to do it because the grace and the spirit of Christ is already in you. What are the dynamics and power of touching lives? What are the dynamics and power of touching lives? Number one, every act of touching life is never a waste. Is somebody with me? Huh. This is a little bit related to last Sunday. I repeat myself. Every act of touching lives is never what? A waste. It's not a waste of time. It's not a waste of resources. It is a divine investment. Is somebody with me here? I repeat myself. Touching lives is never a waste. It's not a waste of time. It's not a waste of resources, but rather divine investment. And that is why in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17, Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17, the Bible says, He that hath pity upon the poor, lend unto the Lord. He that hath pity upon the poor, lend unto the Lord. And that which he had given, will he pay him again? In other words, when you touch lies, you are not wasting your time. You are not wasting your resources. You are not wasting your intellect. For the Bible says, He that hath pity on the poor, lend it unto the Lord, and by no means he will gain it back. Can I pray for you? Every of your investment in touching life, you will gain it back. Amen. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Amen. Brethren, it's so essential that the word of God it is written. When you start to hear the cry of the poor, 
God says when you cry, he will not hear you. Proverbs 21 verse 13. Proverbs 21 verse 13. He said, who so stopped his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. And that's why you can never, never stop doing good. That's why you must make up your mind to touch lives. That's why you must contact the grace to touch lives. Praise the Lord. What are the dynamics and power of touching life? Number two, God hears the cry of the poor. God hears what? The cry of the poor. If they cry in your favor, you'll be blessed. When the poor cry in your favor, what happened to you? You'll be blessed. Well, when they cry against you, Fijian is unavoidable. May the poor not cry against you. And that's why you need to know, you need to have knowledge. That's why you need to have understanding as to how you relate with people. Let the poor not cry against you. It's a terrible thing. They cry in favor of doctors. And doctors came back to life. Hello? Who cried in favor of doctors? The poor, the widows. They say, no, doctors cannot die. They sent to Joppa. Peter, whatever you are doing, abandon it and start coming now. There is an emergency. Praise God. When Peter arrived, they brought out evidences of doctors touching their lives and were crying. As Peter was praying in the closet in the upper chamber, the widows are outside also doing what? Crying. Doctors must not die. Doctors you must come back to life. Doctors, no replacement for you. Doctors, we are going to be missing you. And God had their cry and answer. Can I pray for you, sir? Every poor people that pray for you, God will answer. Provided you touch their lives. What did I say? Brethren, it is equally terrible for the poor to cry against you. Amen, somebody. Because when you read the story in 1 Kings chapter 21, verse 18 to 25, you come across how King Ahab and Jezebel connived together and took the vineyard of Naboth. Amen. A whole king took what belongs to the poor. Brethren, don't oppress anybody. God Almighty hates oppression. God Almighty hates anyone oppressing the poor, the widow, the orphans. Praise God. And you know what? The blood of Naboth cried to the Almighty God. And God sent Elijah to Ahab. And when Elijah met Ahab, Elijah declared the mind of God to Ahab. How Ahab and Jezebel, how they will die. How dog will lick their blood. Praise the Lord. And exactly what Elijah told Ahab, it came to pass. Can I pray for you, sir? As many of you that might have oppressed widows, oppressed the poor, and their voices are crying against you, may the Lord have mercy on you. Yeah. Yesterday I was listening to the radio. A stepmother confessed how she took all the names of the children of the first wife that is late to a harbour to cover their glory all of them girls no marriage all of them educated no job they are not prospering praise God and the woman thought she was doing it so that her only she had only one so that her only daughter can begin to reign in the family. But what happened? Tragedy struck the little poor girl that was reaping the seed 
of the fa of the mother ran mad. It was when the little girl ran mad that the woman began to confess. And after she confessed, and she was confronted, and the children were begging her, "Oh, please release us!" He said, "I have suffered losses. I can't release you. Stand on your feet." Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Brethren, a lot are happening. A lot are happening. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, anywhere they take my name, all the name of my children, Holy Ghost, fire! Go ahead and cry to the Almighty God. Pasuta la brade kasianda la 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 la. Bokotololo gazika tonelele branda kato gashanta la la bokoto gazika le bakuta ya braka kuta la 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 gazunta le poshontololo gazianda la kasunta le thank you mighty father in Jesus mighty name we are praying we are ever anyone want to do evil against you God will raise voice against them in the name of Jesus. Be seated. God hears the cry of the poor. Number eight. God Almighty is pleased with every act of charity or touching lives. What did I say? God is what? Is pleased. Anytime you are touching lives, God is pleased with you. That's why I tell people you are in a trouble, you are in a mess, you need God's intervention. Go and touch lives. For those of us that were in the first service, our sister that minister quoted Isaiah 58. We are God is saying, even when you are fasting to me, use the opportunity to touch lives. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked. He said, then shall thy life spring forth like a new day. He said, you'll be brought out of obscurity. Go and read it. God Almighty is pleased with every art of charity or touching life. James chapter 1 verse 27. He said, pure religion and all the fire before God and the Father is this. To visit the fatherless and widows in their afflictions and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Praise the Lord. And when you read Matthew 25, verse 33 to 46, so that you can know that God is pleased with art of touching life. Jesus gave the parable of the sheep and the goats. Who are the sheep? Those touching lives, those feeding the hungry. Those visiting them in the hospital, those visiting them in, in, in prison, those covering the nakedness of, 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 of others, clothing them, just like doctors. He said they have a place in eternity. They said for the goats who will be by the left, he said they will be saying, When were you hungry that we did not feed you? When were you naked that we did not cover you? When were you sick that we did not visit you? When were you in the prison that we did not show compassion? He said, as long as you did not do unto these ones. Then he condemned them to eternal condemnation. Can I pray for you, sir? You will not know eternal condemnation. So, sir, so, man, every act of, that's why I want to thank God for the life of all our brethren. Can we put our hand together for Jesus? When we made an answering here last Sunday, that we're going to be touching lives of people. And we told us, and which is the truth, because my minister will bear me witness, we're already planning, I mean, a very systematic way of empowerment for all our people. But this one was sudden. As a matter of fact, I have made the announcement before I went back to the outline for this particular weekend, and they say CSR is compulsory. No budget. But the Spirit of God ministered to me that do this, do this, do this. Thank God I made the announcement and I obey. And he provided the money. Amen? I mean, from among us, 
One fellow came with brand new notes. He said, this one, I am sowing it to those that are owing rent. Another one wrote a check, 500. I'm sowing this for those that are paying school fees. Another one came with another 500. I'm sowing this in support of those that will, that, 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 that will be empowered for business. Another fellow sent another 300,000. I am doing this. Right before we even close, a couple came. This is my own widow's man. Sir, this is 50,000 error. Give me the account number. That is how it's supposed to be. All those that will be empowered here today, for instance, those that have been empowered in the first service, and those that will be empowered in this second service, and even the third service, they will never curse you. They will only say, God bless pastor and his members. And you are going to be blessed. You didn't say amen. Yeah. Maybe you are thinking, since it did not come from me, it may not have come from you, but you are a member of the church. And what we are doing, we are not doing in the name of individual. We are doing it in the name of the church. And that's why I can tell you who are. Every member of this church, either you say amen or not, either you believe me or not, you are a potential millionaire. Yeah. Look at the way you are saying amen. Yeah. All of you, all of you, without an exception, you are all multi-millionaire. Do you know why I'm saying it? I've said it here before. And caught me anywhere. I was in the village in the mission field. Mission field. We are even members. I am the one giving them the little that I have. I hear God say, I have raised you a pastor. I have raised you what? To who? To millionaires. The moment I heard it, I began to announce it to my people in the mission field. All of you are millionaires. God already told me you are all millionaires. Praise God. I didn't know I would be coming across people like you. Because the grace will rub upon you. I said the grace will rub upon you. Because right there in that village, my wife can be a witness. Right there in that village, in that same church, women that were coming to church with bedroom slippers, with Singlet, you know what they call singlet? Eh? Do you know what they say? It's not teacher too, it's not singlet. Oh. Amen. They will just wear the singlet and just put wrapper and wear toilet slippers to the church. Suddenly, all of them began to wear lace <laughs> with fine shoes. God began to transform their lives. Amen. Somebody, if God can do that at that level, He have you in mind. You came in contact to this grace, this dimension of grace. I am saying it with all responsibility for a purpose. You will only not become by your own fault. But if you will go by the teachings of the word of God you are hearing and obey God and practice God, sir, man. Let all those in your village, all of them be witches and wizards. They can't stop you from rising. They can't stop your glory from rising. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Every preacher, every minister carry their grace. And I'm here to announce to you, I have been sent to you for you to prosper in life. Whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter. But the testimonies are bad. You don't joke with those ones. That's why beware under whose covering you are. Amen. I'm saying it with us responsibility. Amen. And that's why, by His grace, there is nowhere we have ever been to that things don't change, it must transform. Because it's a grace God himself had bestowed. And that's why I'm praying for somebody here today. Who is that fellow now? I can see only one person. I can see only one person. Even between now and the end of the year, the grace will manifest in you. 
the grave will find expression in you in the name of Jesus if you are staying in one room get ready for a duplex you are staying in a duplex get ready for a mansion you are driving a Tokumbo car get ready for Tia Roba you are an employee get ready to be an employer you are such a person say Lord Amen you ask me how do I get there it's a story for another day those are the VG had a little bit of it it's not about where you are now because this same fellow talking to you had borrowed 200 naira to transport the wife, the children on Okada before to church amen and here God says I've made you pastor to millionaires when he speaks it is done when he speaks it is what? it is done look at me very well you, 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 look at me very well no devil can stop your greatness Amen. number four when you touch life the name of God is glorified the name of God is what? is glorified number five, because of time when you touch life it is for a memorial it is for what? what doctor did was for memorial and that is why today we are studying and reading about dockers. Brethren, it is possible that in your own lifetime, years after you must have gone, they will be still talking about you. You are definitely say louder, amen. I said they will still be talking about you in the name of Jesus. And you know what? When you see divine advertisement hello when you see what it comes with good works how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth he went doing good healing those that are expressed of the devil and what happened his name spread abroad they began to hear about him spread and touch lives do what do what and finally, when you touch lives, you are creating room for unbelievers to believe. Because the Bible says the dynamics and the power of touching life is an avenue for souls to come to his kingdom. If you read Act 9 20, 42, the Bible says, and it was known throughout all Joppa, talking about divine advertisement, and then say, and many, do what? Believe in the Lord. Brethren, this Jesus we are serving, it's not about preaching, it's not about praying, it's about practically touching lives. Christianity is life transformation. And that's why when you read the account of the early church, they say they went about breaking bread from house to house, touching lives. But permit me to say this. It's a wonderful thing when you begin to touch lives. But there's a condition before you can touch life. And that I said at the beginning, you must carry grace. You must carry what? Grace. And the irony of it is that you can't carry grace when you don't know the giver of the grace. I defined grace earlier as God in your race. But many of us have shot God out of our race. You think you can do it on your own. And that's why many of us are suffering. That's why many of us are not making ends meet. Because you want to be living in sin. You want to be pleasing yourself against the will of God and you want things to move. It doesn't work that way. It does not. Let the truth be told. That's the difference between the church and the shrine. Get to the shrine they will ask you to go and bring one thing or the other to prepare one concussion or the other to salvage your situation 
after the end, you are back to square one. But listen to me. What God asks you to do. When you read your Bible and the Bible says, He lifts the poor from the dawn hill and the beggar from the dust. Sir, ma, that is my God. That is who? My God. Listen to me. You may be down. You, you, you may be so worthless that everybody is even marching on you. If you allow him to pick you up. The Bible says when he pick you up from the door here, when he pick you up from the doors, he said he set you among the princes. And that's why I can ask to only one person. Those looking down on you now shall one day look up to you. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Touching lives. It should be an unforgettable day for you. Only one person said it. All eyes closed. All heads bowed down. You are here this morning. You have been trying everything within your power. But nothing is working. Just because you know it yourself. That you have shut God out. Instead of you serving God. As it is written. Seek ye for the kingdom and his righteousness. And every other thing will be added unto you. You are saying let God bless me. And I will serve him. No sir. It doesn't work that way. And you are hearing what you are hearing now. Because God wants to bring you out. From the downhill. From the dust. He wants to lift you up. If you are that fellow and you need his mercy. You are that fellow you want to surrender to him. You are that fellow you want to welcome Christ afresh. You are the only one to lift up your right hand above your head. And I pray with you. God bless you sir. God bless you man. You are raising your hand above your head. Just raise it and wave it and I pray with you. My brother God bless you. My brother God bless you. My sister God bless you. All of you raising your hand God bless you. Ushers can we please attend to them. Usher, can we please attend to them? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If I raise that hand, just raise it. Just raise it. Please come. If I raise that hand, please just come and meet me here. My brother, please come. My brother, please come. 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 There's always a day. There's always a day. There's always a day. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. You don't want to shut the door against God anymore. You want God to come into your situation, to come into your circumstances. You want God to liberate you. You want God to take over your case. Please come now. Please come now. Please come now. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Keep clapping if you are clapping. Keep clapping. You are clapping. You want to come? Please come. 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 Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him, there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. I believe there is no water. If you want to come, please come. Jesus is the way. One more time. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above there's no water. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Those of you at the altar, can you just stretch out your hand like this to the altar and say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I confess you today as my personal Lord and Savior. I open the door of my heart and I welcome you into my heart. And I say, come and be the Lord over my life that you will have mercy on me and save my soul that I may reign with you. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name. Gracious Lord, I want to thank you for all this. Your children standing at your altar. Lord, please have mercy on them. 
save their soul, remove their name from the book of death and destruction, rewrite their name in the book of life, let your grace be bestowed upon them, and let their life not remain the same. Take them out of the downhill, take them out of the doors, set them among the princes, and let today mark the beginning of their transformation. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I say congratulations to you all. Kindly follow that, my sister, carrying that banner. There is one or two things they will share with you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Keep clapping, keep celebrating them. Keep clapping, keep celebrating them. Is that all you can do? Clap for them. Clap for God Almighty. The Bible says there is rejoicing in heaven over a single soul that is saved. This is more than one. This is more than two. This is more than three. Can you clap louder? The hand that clap will never lack. The hand that clap will never, never, never lack money. Go ahead, clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Only one prayer point I want you to pray. I'll still come back to pray for you. And the only one prayer I want you to pray is this. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, let me live my life to please you. All the days of my life. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? That God will give you grace to please him, to please him, to please him. All that we are talking about is about pleasing God. It's not about man. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about pleasing God. It's about the name of God being glorified. Even our life. It's about the name of God being honored in our life. Oh, Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Christ must be honored in my life every day. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you grace to please God to do the will of God because therein lies your blessing therein lies your breakthrough therein lies your greatness receive in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit three powerful amen one to go Let somebody shout hallelujah. Very quickly, we want to have our thanksgiving for the help weekend, the choir, the usher, the welfare, the prayer champion. If you are sitting down, when it is your own thanksgiving, choir will not sing for you. Praise God. It is time for us to celebrate the choir, celebrate the prayer champion that have been praying and those that have been serving and meeting our needs. Over to you, choir. Come as any child, the pig shall wear a home. Emma Tobio. Come as any child, the pig shall wear a home. Shall we come? Shall we come because of time? Oh, no. Wealthy acquire, prayer champion, ushers. We don't have time. And then, member of the congregation, let's celebrate these people. They are very special people. Daddy, help me pray for your children. Our Father, we are grateful for these members of the workforce of this organization, ROCCG, City of Light. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Their mates are in the world, training and destroying their future and destiny. But you have blessed these ones with the wisdom to be doorkeepers in your house than to be in the tabernacle of the wicked. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. They are the helpers around here. When we are comforted, 
sitting down, sitting down comfortably, they remain standing. The Sunday school teachers will be planning and studying, reviewing and previewing what to present to us. These have been blessings to the church. The choir bring melody to your house. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. As they make things happen here, Father, attend to their situations in the name of Jesus. Many of them ignore their personal problems to come and make the sacrifice that make us worship comfortably here. Father, renew their strength in the name of Jesus. Fall upon their troubles in the name of Jesus. Grind their problems to pops in the name of Jesus Christ. If Jesus tarries, by the time we are celebrating this weekend next year, make it more glorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Ah, hey, this kind God, I know no one in This kind of God, I know no one in I know such from the east and west and south. I see this kind of God, I know no one in Ah, hey, this kind of God, I know no one in I've come to tell you that I know no let's put our hand together for Jesus and let's still be seated in his presence our time is fast playing we we'll see us on the school and we we'll still have touch service and we'll still be doing the same thing in the services our prayer is that God will help us in Jesus' name. Praise God. If you are here, you are owing school fees. Two sessions, three sessions for your children. And you have about four children or three, and you are owing school fee for the past two sessions. You are writing undertaking to the school for understanding that you pay. Can you stand on your feet? If there's anybody like that, two sessions, three sessions. Can it be proven? Okay, who else? Who else? Hello, ma. How many children do you have? Two. Which school are they? Huh? Which school? Huh? Can somebody give her a mic? Let us hear her. Go be school, sir. If they follow you to that school, they will confirm that the, your children are owing two sessions plus? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there another person like that? Okay, two of you, please come. God well, bless you. This is a token of support. God bless you. This is a token of support. You can go back to your seat. You are coming back to see us with those checks so that they can put your names. Praise God. If you are in the house, you are an orphan. Orphan. You don't have mother, you don't have mom, you don't have mom, father, you don't have mother, and you've been sponsoring yourself to school and you are owing school fee. Orphan. You don't have father, you don't have mother. Uh, which school are you? You are not in school. No. We want those in school that are unable to be. Are you in school? No, no. 
I'm talking about someone in school who is not able, is an indigent. Are you in school? No, no, no. Not you have brother. You, yourself. Okay, nobody. Uh, the orphan of first service, where is she? Please, let's have this for her. Okay. Yeah, that teenager. Yeah. You are here. You are owing rent. And your landlord, through the lawyer, have given you quick notice. And you have the quick notice with you. Can you stand? You are owing rent. And they have given you quick notice. And you have the quick notice with you. You have the quick notice. You can provide the quick notice today. You will go home and bring the quick notice for all to see. Uh uh. <laughs> Praise God. Oh yeah, can you please come? Somebody is sewing. Most of the checks we are giving you, no name on it. If we give it to you, you come back, they write your name on it. Or else, if they call us for confirmation and they are unable to get confirmation, they will not pay you. You went to go and bring the quick notice. This is support of 50,000 naira. You have your quick notice. You have your quick notice. We will uh, we will keep the one of you. When you bring your quick notice, they will present it to you. Are you getting me? We want to see the evidence of the quick notice. They gave you quick notice. You don't have accommodation at all. At all. Okay. Some of fifty thousand for you. So for two of you, they scatter your place. Not, not that you have quit notice. Where is your husband? Huh? Are you not married? Okay, see us with your husband. Then you see us with quit notice. Then you can go. You can go. God bless you. Return this is complete. Now, this is support for those in business that may need a little uh, boost to their business. This is 100,000 Naira each. And Praise God. Uh, you own a business and your business has gone down. We can trace your shop. We'll come to your shop and see it to confirm if you need such empowerment. Amen. Can you stand? Amen. If you are not a widow, sit down. If you are not a widow, sit down. Oh God, are you a widow? And you are standing now. I said, if you are not a widow, sit down. Are you a widower? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. What will be the criteria now? You are less than 55. Sit down. You are less than 55. Sit down. You are less than 55 years. Sit down. You 
You are less than 60. Sit down. You are less than 60. Sit down. We will look at your birth certificate too. Okay. Ma, come. Mama, which business do you do? Which business do they do? Which do they sell? Ah, uh, you go back. Now, person where they sell something. No. Don't, do, don't worry. Go back. Go back. What are you saying, man? Red or where? Do you have a shop? You have a shop? Can we see where you sell? Okay. This is 100,000 naira check. Your name is not yet written on it. When we come and see the place and confirm, your name will be written on it. If you don't return it for us to write your name on it, if you take it to bank, the color for confirmation will not confirm. Congratulations. Where is your shop? Eh? You did do it. You did fry me a yam, fish, and akara. God bless you. But we'll come see the place. So that pastor go eat the yam for. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. Mama, what did they say? Eh? For where? Third Avenue. Opposite Air Lab on Third Avenue. Eh? Okay. Congratulations. This hundred thousand. Then you come. Congratulations. God bless. That's all for now. Meet you at door service. The rest of you can go back. Can we put our hand together for Jesus? Amen and amen and amen. I still have one more person to support for school. One more person to support for school. One more person to support for school. School, 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 school. I want to use my discretion. Do I have any teenager that the parent is here to pay the school fee? Bring them. Bring one of them. So that this go to a teenager that the parent is here to pay for school fee. Shall we rise? In addition to this financial support and empowerment, the church have also made provision for food items, clothing materials. For as many of us that may need any on your way out, that will be after Sunday school. Because that will be about 15 minutes on the school. Then you can now go and get whatever you need to get. And then third service will still do the same in third service. Step out your hands to the altar. Let me make a pronouncement. And this pronouncement will take us into Sunday school for our announcement. Tomorrow morning, good morning, Holy Spirit. Come with your anointing oil and your mantle. Because the topic is mantle for goodness and mercy. And our digging deep, we're taking part three of partners together with God and then our faith clinic and Saturday evangelism and by the special grace of God next Sunday will be our miracle service stretch out your hands to the altar my father, my father, my father I want to thank you for the life of all these your children Lord some of them will be receiving support but any destiny that you support can never go down Therefore, my Father, my God, I ask for everyone under the influence of my voice, Lord, rise up for their support in the name of Jesus. Every power fighting your destiny that have not allowed you to prosper, let the Almighty God confront them in the name of Jesus. 
fight your battle and give you victory in the name of Jesus. This particular week, my God will command your helpers to locate you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. Please be seated as we go into Sunday school. Okay? Huh? They are teenagers. We can, which class are you? SS1. Are your parents here? Where is your parents? Oh, God bless you. Congratulations. This is for you. Maybe third service, eh? God bless you. Sunday school, over to you. These uh, people for rent that we didn't give, please write down your name and your telephone number. Those of you that need to bring quick notice and we need to see where they demolish, please put your name with the uh, protocol. Only two, and uh, the two of you, you know yourself. Over to you, Sunday school teachers. Let them do Sunday school. After Sunday school, we pray for first time. Huh?